today we are entering the future big shout out to playstation for sending me the psvr 2 and we are gonna check out gran turismo 7 now first things to know is that my headphones don't actually fit properly because of where the band lines up uh it's probably advisable to use the little buds but whatever this works but how cool is this that you can actually see my rig this is what i normally look at <laughs> so in the garage area where you normally change your car you actually have the vr showroom and you can choose multiple locations pick one of these locations no way oh my god so we're in like the perfect location japan with my r34 that 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 looks real you can slowly move around the car that reflect oh, that looks insane i i have genuinely never seen car models this detailed in vr ever but because i'm using the controller it's a little bit more jarring looking left and right it's just a bit abrupt but it it doesn't feel sickening look at that i want my car to, to sit like that but this looks incredible i feel very small sat in the uh the rig chair but Jump is that that is my interior this feels to scale that is insane whoa the grand original car models you can now appreciate them in another level let's have a see what you're looking at okay so the, it does look pretty good on the screen as well i was gonna say it doesn't look as good on the screens normally with the projecting view yeah and i can see the weird effects going on in the distance there but that, that's just how it kind of projects it don't, i don't see that when i'm playing i'm definitely gonna be doing more of those very shortly but for now i want to drive now the good thing is again i have a racing rig as well and a direct drive one at that if this doesn't bring me to the closest possible experience of driving my own damn car i'm gonna be honest i don't know what will all right grand valley that is the new the new old but new <laughs> location this is a touring car 600 you know i'm just gonna go for a normal arcade now the loading screens are all kind of like this tiny square in the middle of the screen uh but i'm assuming once i get in uh oh well that was kind of jarring and now we are in my car what the hell is going on man that is really good now the only thing is whoa this there's so much i need to talk about at once my brain's just kind of overloaded <laughs> Cru i need a motion rig i need a motion rig right now that is nutty i feel genuinely like i am moving to the point where when i break it it starts to slow down i kind of want to move around the car it makes gran turismo no longer feel ooh, really slow i wonder if i can change the view can I do that on the on here? Oh, there's my uh, changing of my brake balance and stuff. That's pretty cool. Wait, that is weird. I don't think I've ever felt that before. When I genuinely come to slow down or accelerate, I kind of actually want to react. And you can tell normally with the sense of speed on Gran Turismo, it's not great. But I'm somehow managing to keep the right speed for locations i've only just realized where the gear indicator is oh my god Ooh. Ooh. okay yeah wow 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 we have got so many things to try in this game there's like ridiculously quick cars we got drifting to try in this the motion as the car wobbles oh oh god Whoa! God! Quick, 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 quick. Everyone's gonna catch up to me. Hurry up! Go, go, go! Where are they? Oh! <laughs> Bloody Aston. Mark! I guess we're going into the pits. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this, this, is, this is great. I mean, I was uh, in first place. I'm now literally in dead last. <laughs> Fantastic. Yep, yep, yep. It's fine. A little game of catch up. Never hurt anybody. <laughs> <laughs> honestly i think i am now uh i'm just gonna stay in the gran turismo world i don't genuinely feel the need ever to drive my car for fun again i'll just go on gran turismo come on big power <laughs> yeah i'm very curious whether there's like a disable all hood option because you really 
personally, I don't think need it. It's helpful in some ways, of course, like the tire pressure, the NOS and fuel and things like that. But in a lot of cases, we don't actually need that. And we can use the standard dials, which to be fair, it's just using the standard dials. I've seen on some cars that it does kind of overlay some digital dials. That may be some options somewhere. There's so many options. Man, this is too quick <laughs> for sure the best visual uh vr driving experience i've had this looks incredible still i know assetto corsa and a few other games that i've played they they look good but not to this level of course this is properly optimized for this system they they built this game knowing that vr was going to be a thing vr2 things just seem i best the, the best way to describe it if you've played vr before is it seems much sharper i, I don't feel like i'm just driving this blurry mess <gasps> oh, one of the things i was going to say earlier is i definitely need a circle wheel i don't actually i do have one it just doesn't have buttons and stuff on it <laughs> so that's something I've been putting off for a while. I was tempted to get one ready for PSVR, but now it's just another progression step to make this the best setup that exists. Where's my NOS button? There it is! Too fast, too fast! This is the killer feature, the killer game, should I say. I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, what about Horizon? And, and what about all the other? Don't care. Don't care. Gran Turismo. <laughs> Amazing. Look at those two beautiful Japanese boys right there. So I was kind of curious. What about Brand Central? If we go into Brand Central. No, it would be really cool if we could look around the cars in Brand Central as well. Just in that I don't have every car. <laughs> and the fact that I don't would makes me want to now buy every car. So I could. I see what you're doing. What about the Supra? Ah, uh, Bisto GR edition. Mate, stop revving the car. All right, please. But thank you very much. This time, let's go to the GT Cafe. Oh, my goodness now you can turn the lights on you can change which lights it has on put the hazards on you've got the tesco value day decal on the side there that is awesome look around it you can change the view oh you can just kind of snap and jump there's my orange face <laughs> of course you can get much closer and personal to it if you if you've got a decent space but uh let, let, let me show you like here for example i'm gonna get close to this wing right here and uh yeah up close and personal what that's kind of weird <laughs> up close and personal with the whole car i genuinely feel like i could just run my hand along the curves of this beautiful machine the interior view looks a little bit more plastic than the real thing but still very clever uh, feeling the wheel is in the right place for when i grab my steering wheel mate i feel like i'm back in the super again <laughs> It's kind of funny, but I'm not. I'm in my uh, office, as you can see. That's you. But you see what most people would do when they get the chance to look at any car ever. What they don't do is look at cars that they actually own or have owned. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't realize how many showrooms there are. That is crazy. <gasps> That's the one. Isn't that the one from Gran Turismo 7? Uh, I think this is the one from Gran Turismo 6. I just, I remember it really, really well. Okay, this is the Vision Bugatti, and I've actually seen one. I I've seen in person, I went to the Gran Turismo event, the launch event for GT6, no, GT Sport, and it had it in the game, didn't it? So, uh, wow, that's some detail. <laughs> I think the only thing that would make this better is if you could rev and pop flames and stuff. That's the need for speed. That is wide holy crap it might also be a little bit jarring like looking at me just with a headset on <laughs> uh apologize for that it looks you know what it's not just the visuals that look better in the headset it is for sure oh maybe it's got hdr my my monitor doesn't have hdr that would probably make sense right no way this is easily one of the coolest this is the gt whatever it's the Gu Julia Quadrifoglio, and there's actually people working away in the background. Maybe I'm not that small, considering that <laughs> I'm almost as tall as these people, and I'm sat down. Oh, it even has the, like, the non I'm guessing do not step. No step, there you go. We need to be able to pop the, the hoods and open the doors and things like that. I'm, I'm kind of surprised we're not able to do that maybe we are and i just didn't read the control but for those of you that don't know this is the location where you do the wide body conversions and things like that that bloke looks properly disproportionate <laughs> what the carbon 
No way. That looks insanely real. I have no idea if this is... I was gonna say, I have no idea if this is a great video to be watching, considering that I'm just being like, oh my God, oh my God. Can you see how it the materials look insanely accurate? And that's something games really struggle with. The doors on the side, I'm gonna be honest, don't look great. But the dash, the leather here is almost right. The leather on the wheel is spot on. I guess it's mostly like Alcantara there. This is the sweaty, nerdiest thing, I think, <laughs> to exist. We're going to jump into the Sheeran and uh, once again, go fast. Obviously, one of the cool things about VR is that you can almost discover games all over again or things all over again. We're going to jump. You know what we're doing. No chicane. Thank you very much. Oh, Let's do it at night this time. I never do races at night. Let's get it. Holy crap. So the track is really, really well uh, lit here. That's for sure. And we'll actually see. Oh my God, the blue flames popping out the back there. Yeah, I really get a much better sense of speed with this. And I, I, something I've always said about VR, even from the very beginning, it's very much oh god that was kind of blinding it helps you kind of predict where the car is where the car's going a hell of a lot better than you would normally i i feel like you almost feel the car more and and i'm I gonna say it big, considering i was swaying and like moving around in my seat earlier or at least feeling the need to tells a lot right this is going to be a lot speed now i definitely can't read that speedo. It's a little bit... My, my headset might need adjusting. There we go. That's better. We're going to get that power down. Nitrous, baby. Holy crud. <laughs> How fast are we going to go? What, 470 kilometers. This is insane. Genuinely. Oh, my God. I'm actually shocked. Like, this feels... Ooh. Come on, let go. Don't let go. That was a stupid idea. Oh. Yeah, clearly it hasn't made me a better driver. <laughs> uh, now we need to... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Uh. So a little bit more practice is required on this course, of course. But that, my friends, is my first experience on the PlayStation VR 2. Thank you again to PlayStation for sending that out. Wow. Make sure you check out my unboxing video here where we set it up and played around with some of the basics. And honestly, I've got some opinions. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new. And until next time, peace.